Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about uh, how to use the split synchronizer with the split SDK in the development environment. Let's get started. The split synchronizer is a process that runs on the client side, meaning on the customer side, and it actually uh, will act as a middle layer between the split SDK and split cloud. So basically it will sync the split definition and the segments um, from the split cloud to the client environment, and it will post the generated impressions and the metrics that created um, into the split cloud. This actually uh, has one big benefit, is reducing the outgoing connection to the split cloud from all the points or sources or machines um, in your network um, that have the SDK uh, the split SDK installed or processes running on so that um, only one single source, which is the synchronizer, will uh, connect to the split cloud. And this is transparent to all the SDKs, which they only need to know what's the um, uh, entry point for Redis database and the synchronizer will take care of the rest. The installation uh, can be done as a standalone process uh, or we actually provide an encapsulated pre-configured Docker image. Now, Synchronizer has two modes. The first mode is basically to use uh, Redis as a database, um, as a store to save all the cache that it needs, um, uh, that the SDK needs to post impressions and uh, read all the split definitions and segment information. And we also have a proxy mode, but this is uh, does not connect to any uh, Redis database. So it's gonna use an in-memory uh, storage in, for the synchronizer, which will require a better uh, memory configuration uh, machine. Now here is uh, the, the architecture for synchronizer mode. You have the product include the split SDK. We have the Redis database, the split synchronizer, all running inside your network. And of course we have the split cloud. Now, when the synchronizer process starts, it will uh, sync up with the split cloud, fetch all the rollout plans, meaning the split definitions and segments, and will store them into Redis uh, database. And then once the SDK uh, starts, it will read uh, all the keys from Redis that correspond to uh, uh, the, uh, the org, and it'll be ready to, for the get treatment call. Now, once the get treatment is called, then we have an impression. The impression gets uh, stored in Redis. Also, if the track uh, call is, is used, you're going to have an event data. Now, Synchronizer will actually uh, run uh, a thread every X amount of minutes and uh, will scan Redis to see if there's any impressions and events that are not being sent, and it will flush them into the split cloud. Now, this is proxy mode, as we mentioned. There is no uh, uh, Redis database here. So uh, the rollout plans and treatment decisions goes directly into the SDK, and the SDK will uh, connect directly to Split Synchronizer. Again, the benefit here is to have the Synchronizer, the only process that actually connect to the Split Cloud, instead of having multiple SDK processes um, connecting to the split cloud. Of course, having Redis means you can scale because um, memory has uh, you know, a limit. So it's more scalable to use a database uh, for this kind of configuration. Split synchronizer uh, can be configured uh, as well and can be fine-tuned based on the business requirement. For example, we can specify uh, how many impressions we can send in a bulk we can also specify what's the refresh rate, meaning um, how many, uh, how long uh, between every uh, impression and, and another impression gets sent to split uh, cloud. We can also specify how many threads that the synchronizer can run so that it can send impressions uh, in parallel. This is very useful if we have a very high load of impressions. For example, if we have 3000 impressions per minute, then these values are actually will uh, achieve uh, the goal of having the synchronizer run smoothly and does not leave Redis 
keys to, to grow while the synchronizer cannot catch up. So as you can see that we have five threads for these impressions and every time it does a post, the, the maximum here is 10,000 impressions every time it posts. And then the refresh rate is about 60 seconds. So every minute it actually uh, uh, does a check to see if there's any impressions left. And the max size we have here as a really large number. So th this is actually very useful to, uh, to know what's our uh, uh, requirement and how is our load uh, gonna be on the server side and how do we fine tune the synchronizer um, to uh, meet our needs. Thank you for listening uh, to this video. Please head to the uh, docs.split.io uh, and check out the synchronizer uh, section for more information.